Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another product that I think you're going to find really helpful. At least I know I did. It's the XD3000 HDMI Signal Manager from our good friends over at O-Ray. Now, what this product does is essentially negotiate the best possible output from any media device. So, for example, if you've got a 4K content device and you've only got an older monitor, this product will make whatever adjustments are needed to pass that media stream from that 4K device along to your older 1080p monitor. And the reason I came across this product was because I was setting up a monitor in the basement, a nice widescreen display for the kids to watch, and it was an older display. It could only really show 1080p content. And the challenge was I was trying to connect up a Roku, which is a 4K media device. It also has HDCP copy protection on it, which that monitor couldn't support. So it just didn't work well with that monitor. And it was a little frustrating because I didn't want to have to go out and upgrade the monitor. So I came across this signal manager, and what this essentially does is analyze the media stream that's coming in and make adjustments to allow that media stream to pass through and display on older monitors. It not only can accommodate 4K content and downscale that to 1080p, but it can also make the older monitors HDCP compliant. So this product is HDMI 2.0 certified. It's also HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means all that newer media content that I'd love to watch in the older TV, I can now pass through this device and actually watch it on that monitor. One of the things this product does, which I think is pretty incredible, is it does a little bit of signal conditioning and amplification. So normally I have to locate my media device within three meters of my monitor to get the best possible quality. This product amplifies that signal enough that gives me extra space between the media device and the TV up to 10 meters away. So in my case, I had the monitor over there. I had the media devices closer to me here on the couch. I needed that extra length. This product took care of all those problems and it's an incredibly simple product to use. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Inside the kit, you'll find the XD3000 Signal Manager, a power cable that has a USB-A connection on one end and a micro USB connection on the other end. The micro USB end plugs into the power port on the signal manager and the USB-A end can plug into any standard wall charger or if you have an available port on your display or your media device, you can plug it in there. Also included is a really nice Velcro pad that will actually help you attach this to the back of your display and that way you can remove it later on if you need to. They also include a full instruction manual that lists specifications and connection diagrams and other information you'll need to understand about the unit. Now the signal manager itself features a full metal enclosure which makes it incredibly durable and also helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues internally. On the one end you'll find two ports, an HDMI input port that'll connect up to your media device and to the left of that is a DC input port that's used with the included cable. You'll plug the micro USB in right there and plug this into your power supply. To the left of that is a power indicator. Now when you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics to make sure they're working okay. It's also checking the resolution of your media device and the resolution of your monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed to pass along the best possible picture. On the other end of the device, you'll find an HDMI output port that'll connect up to your monitor. And to the right of that is a switch that will actually force the downscaling of 4K content on the input down to 1080p output over here. Now, again, if your device can do that natively, you might want to let the device do it. But if you've got a collection of devices or the device can't downscale automatically, you can turn this on by sliding the switch to the left and that'll have the signal manager take responsibility for downscaling that 4K content to 1080p. Now, as I've mentioned, this is an incredibly easy product to use, and I'll show you how to do that now. Over here, I've got an older monitor that can only display 1080p content. It also has a much older HDCP compliance rating. Over here, I have a newer Roku that can easily display 4K content, but it requires a display that is at least HDCP 2.2 or 2.3 compliant. So there's no way I can force that 4K content onto this monitor because it can't display it, and the HDCP handshake is going to be a mess as well. And that's where the signal manager comes in. This product, again, will analyze the input media stream, both the resolution and the HDCP requirements, and analyze the display and make whatever adjustments are needed in the middle to accommodate that media stream being passed along to your monitor. Now, one thing that's unique about the Roku and some other media devices as well is when you first power them up, they'll do that same check of the display and they'll auto scale or downscale if needed to accommodate older displays, but they still can't fix the HDCP problem. And the other issue was that monitor I've set up, I'm going to use it with a bunch of different media devices, and some of those can actually auto detect and some can't. So I needed a simple solution like the signal manager that would accommodate all those different media devices. So let me show you this won't work directly connecting to the Roku. I've got an HDMI cable here, 
and I'll plug that into the back of the Roku. Now I'm in the settings menu on the Roku currently, and what I'm going to do is actually force the Roku to recheck the display just to see if it passes the 4K resolution test and if it can pass the HDCP test as well. So I'll start the test again. Right away you can see it can't accommodate 4K content. The Roku is saying no good on the monitor. It also doesn't have the HDCP compliance required for the Roku. So this is a problem for me. Now again, the Roku will downscale on its own, but all my other media devices give me the same headache every time I connect them up. The signal manager is going to fix that for me. So I start by disconnecting the monitor from the Roku and I'll plug that into the HDMI out port on the signal manager. Now I need to connect the Roku up to the signal manager. So I've got a second HDMI cable here. I'll plug that into the Roku, and I'll plug the other end of it into the Signal Manager input. Now I need to add power, and again, you can use the cable that comes with the kit. It's a micro USB on this end, which plugs into the Signal Manager, and a USB on the other end. Luckily, the Roku has an open USB-A port. I've already connected a cable up to that. It's a little bit longer just to make it easier. And I'll plug that into the power port. Now the minute I add power to this unit, it's going to start an internal power on self-test and immediately start checking what the media stream coming in looks like as far as resolution, HDCP requirements, all the other things. It's also checking the resolution and the compliance ratings of the monitor, and it's going to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture on the output. Now, right now, we're ready to go, and I'll rerun that test, and let's see what happens. Now, we know it can't display 4K, but let's see what happens with the HDCP. So I'll force Roku to look at it again through the signal manager. Again, it failed the 4K test, but look at that. It's now HDCP 2.2 compliant. So what this has done for me is taken a very strict requirement from that 4K media player to have HDCP 2.2 or 2.3 and fix that for me on an older monitor, which means I can now enjoy my content. And with the Roku, I have a choice of letting it down res on its own or downscaling here. I'm choosing to downscale through the signal manager because some of my other devices can't do that automatically. And that way I know whatever I connect up to the input of this, if I'm using a switch or connecting it up directly, this product will immediately analyze what I'm trying to push through the signal manager and make the adjustments necessary internally to give me the best possible picture. And the other major benefit that I mentioned before is the fact that it conditions and amplifies the signal. So this connection from the output of this all the way over to the TV, or the connection on the input all the way over to my media devices can be 10 meters long and still support that high resolution content. So for me, it's a very inexpensive device and a really easy fix for upgrading older monitors to use with your newer, higher resolution media devices. And I just love it. So hopefully you found this clip helpful. If you're interested in this, I've got a link below where you can go check it out on your own. But a signal manager like this just simplifies all of my media headaches that I normally find when I buy a new media product and try to connect it up to an older display. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.